I'm a training orthopaedic surgeon. I was based at um, North East Hospital in, in the northern region. And for the last three years, I've been doing a, a full-time PhD on uh, failing metal and metal hip replacements. You've been analysing the ASR. What are the issues? We believe that the, the main problem with the ASR is the design of the cup. Um, it's a very shallow cup compared to other designs. And this leads to an increased uh, tendency for wear to take place at the rim of the cup. And uh, when wear takes place next to the rim of the cup, um, wear rates increase dramatically. Metal ion release in the blood is directly related to the, the amount of metal that's removed from the um, hip replacement itself. What are the systemic and the local effects of these ions? The metal uh, components are made of chromium and cobalt um, predominantly, so the increases in, in metal ion levels we see are increases in crobot, chromium and cobalt metal ions in the blood. Um, the body normally deals with normal uh, low concentrations of these uh, metal ions primarily, primarily by renal excretion as they naturally occur in essential elements. Um, in the quantities that we're seeing, in some cases, they, they can be up to 200 times physiological values. We don't strictly know the long-term systemic effects of these. However, there have been a few case reports where they've become extremely high and have led to problems with, um, for example, uh, cognitive impairment and, and tinnitus. So that's systemically. Locally, what's happening? Particularly with ASR resurfacing, the chromium and cobalt um, uh, metal ions concentrate in the hip fluid and they become incredibly high in, in a number of cases. Now those uh, increased wear from the hip replacements are directly related to um, soft tissue damage and, and bony uh, damage around the joint. The relationship is slightly complicated in that some patients can be exposed to extremely high metal uh, debris concentrations and not run into problems immediately, whereas some other patients seem to have um, very significant reactions to to only slightly increase the metal debris concentrations.